The most vital parts of Lahaina Town that was lost, the historic boat harbor that has served the community for centuries. Casey Lynn is live in West Maui talking to harbor users about the rebuilding process. Casey, what can you tell us? Yeah, aloha, Stephen Grease. We're uh, just about 200 yards shy of the Lahaina Harbor. I uh, just wanted to show you what a beautiful setting this is and why this is such a special place for so many people. You can see the West Maui Mountains, even the Big Island off in the distance there, of course, Lanai and Molokai too. Uh, but, you know, we uh, want to focus on the harbor today and rebuilding that and what it looks like. Of course, the Coast Guard is in charge of removing those sunken vessels, uh, but eventually it's going to have to be rebuilt and that falls under the state and DLNR. I want to talk to Dan Schaefer. We're on his boat, by the way, Katanapali Ocean Adventures. Uh, Dan, I, I want to first just have you tell me a little bit about what you lost on August 8th. Uh, pretty much everything. All the income in the future. I lost three boats, three vehicles, six motorcycles, everything I'd built up in 40 years out here in the business. Dan, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that, but you know, as, as so many people are now about a month away from this tragic event, starting to really think about the future. Uh, and, and I think that uh, the conversation about when tourism should return to West Maui is a difficult one to have, but for folks like you and the gentleman that we've spoken to, these boat owners, uh, you want things to move a little quicker, right? Or at least have some alternatives so you can get back to work. Oh yeah, we need fuel. We need the fuel dock opened up. It'd be nice to rebuild the harbor bigger and better than it was being the smallest, most congested harbor in the state of Hawaii. Um, we really need to get some tourism back here. I mean, FEMA and Red Cross, everybody has done a great job, but this west side of Maui is shut down right now, and we hope to be back in business by at least the beginning of next year. Probably not at Lahaina Harbor, right? Where do you plan to go? Well, my boat was in Kanapali, and that's why we're still on it right now. It's floating. The eight boats out of Kanapali survived because there was no fire up there. But if you look around Lahaina, it's uh, melted. Everything melted. Uh, we'd love to be able to get fuel. We need fuel to operate. We need people. We need to get some people back to West Maui. I want to ask you too. I, before we go, I listened to the meeting that was held with you know different stakeholders, all sorts of businesses, but also tourism and, and also deal at our Dobor, the Division of Boating and Aquatic Resources. Um, and it sent, I got the sense from some of the folks that were there that it seemed like maybe the Coast Guard and the DLNR um, were kind of pointing the finger at each other about who's going to take the next lead on on moving things forward. Is that is that correct? <clears throat> it needs to happen a lot quicker than it is right now. We're a, a day away from being a month, and nothing's really happened. They're still looking for people. <clears throat> well, we need to get tourism back up and running over here because we don't do sugarcane or pineapple anymore. We have tourism and that's it. And obviously a really difficult, like I said, a difficult discussion to have when so many people are still in pain, but you're one of those people. You've lost pretty much everything, correct? But oh, yeah. um, we have to move forward, right? Yeah, it's time to start rolling, get the ball moving. And it, this would be a good time to expand our harbor and make it bigger. Lots of things could change right now. Uh, namely, just really quickly, one last question before we go. You'd like to at least get that fuel dock. Do you think that's feasible in the next few months, the fuel dock set back up so you guys can fuel up? Otherwise, you're going to Motalaya, correct? Yeah, but fuel dock didn't burn up. A couple of hoses burned up, but the fuel dock is intact. And if they open up at least the north side of the fuel dock, we would be able to get fuel once they get power to it. Dan Schaefer with us from Cotton Nepali Ocean Adventures. I'm going to speak with you. Again, I want to thank you after all you've been through uh, for taking us out, using your fuel to show us kind of the harbor this morning and, and have these important discussions. Uh, another really important discussion that we're going to have later this morning right here on Sunrise is with the United States Coast Guard in Honolulu. Uh, we'll have a live interview with the incident commander in charge of taking those sunken vessels out of the harbor uh, and ask some of these questions about a timeline. A lot of these folks uh, are able to be patient, but they need to plan. If they need to finance a new boat, they need to know where they're going to have that in the harbor uh, and, and kind of have a better idea of, of when all that is going to happen. Of course, it's an unprecedented situation. We understand that, uh, but there are questions that definitely need to be answered. We'll send things back over to Oahu for now. All right. Thanks,